Great weather to get outside, but uh, before you get ready to celebrate the 4th of July with that time honored tradition of lighting fireworks, we want to remember some important safety tips that could be the difference between life and death. And our AJ Walker stopped by the emergency room at a Beaumont hospital to speak with one of the doctors. Dr. Jamal Addis has been on the job for eight years now, and he's seen a lot. He and staff at the ER are ready for what could be an uptick in severe injuries due to the holiday. This is where they're ready and waiting. This is our uh, trauma bay and resuscitation area. And what happens in here? Uh, this is where uh, more critically sick and injured patients uh, come in and arrive and we will stabilize them here. Here at this hospital we can uh, treat and discharge patients with uh, more minor burns and injuries. Uh, anything more severe or potentially life-threatening uh, or anything potentially needing surgery, uh, we would transfer to a burn center. The hospital is where, unfortunately, some people find themselves after mishandling or being careless with fireworks. And sometimes you could just be an innocent bystander in the wrong place at the wrong time when a firework could leave you with serious injuries. Ada says he's seen plenty of them. Uh, most common injuries would be thermal burns to the hands, uh, neck, face, and eyes. I think the most common. Uh, definitely the hands and face especially. Uh, I have seen a few other more severe blast injuries, unfortunately. What was the severity of those blast injuries? Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, pretty severe. Uh, there, were, there was one case in particular, I recall, from residency, and uh, he unfortunately did not survive those injuries. So they can be deadly? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, they can be deadly. Some of the time I'm seeing like little children with sparklers. We're talking, you know, three years old. I mean, do you advise that? Uh, no, I, I would advise against uh, letting very young children uh, hold sparklers. They can burn very hot, uh, 1200 degrees uh, Fahrenheit oftentimes, which is uh, hot enough to melt certain metals in glass. Yeah, that's really hot. Very hot, yes. We don't want to stop your fun with this information, but we do want you to be safe as you celebrate. Dr. Addis has some additional tips on how to have a safer 4th of July so you don't end up here. Set off some fireworks. Just make sure that you have plenty of safe distance between any, uh, any observers and uh, fireworks themselves. Um, you want to make sure you have a bucket of water or a hose nearby in the event of any kind of fire or burn. Um, other things, uh, you never want to hold any kind of lit fireworks. Uh, if you do have any malfunctioning fireworks, uh, please don't try and go and uh, manipulate them or light them uh, after the fact. We're talking about the, the duds, so to speak. Uh, the best would be to douse those with water uh, after a few minutes and then dispose of them properly. And finally, alcohol and fireworks don't mix. Uh, if, if you are going to be lighting some fireworks at your home, uh, the best would be to have a designated individual who can remain sober and uh, let one person be in charge of setting off fireworks. Reporting in Troy, I'm A.J. Walker.